Basically, we're the world's first urban online outlet aimed at people who embrace this culture and lifestyle. Uh, our focus is to feature products and services that were targeted at this, uh, this market that's been highly overlooked. And when we're done, we want to be the premier uh, urban market leader. Now, who's our customer? Lower, upper, middle class, um, primarily people that embrace the urban culture and people that uh, uh, understand and appreciate these urban trends. Uh, now, with this demographic, I just used the African American earned income, uh, but if you add the Hispanic earned income, you can add another 700 billion to that. So you guys can see that there's a tremendous market opportunity for us uh, and our website. Uh, as far as online retail sales, you can see the jump from 87 billion to approximately 172.5 billion in 2005, and that number is uh, continually in increasing. Now as far as our management team, uh, we have 40 years plus of executive uh, uh, and corporate leadership, including my dad, 20 year, 25 year executive, uh, 50 plus million in sales. Our directors uh, come from a wide variety of industries, including uh, Gail Greer, she's a senior VP, who's who's in, in business, uh, very, very renowned. This is a sample of what our website looks like. As you guys can see, it's nicely laid out and easy to navigate for uh, our specific demographic, and, and, and we separate everything uh, you know, via colors. Here's some of our site demographics. We launched in October uh, of 2006. We're averaging a million plus hits, uh, about 150,000 plus unique. So we're still small, and a lot of that uh, uh, is going to come from some of our marketing dollars. Now, other features of our site include our social networking piece, Go Urban Connect. We have an events section. We have news and entertainment. We also have Mania TV, uh, where they push uh, content to us on a regular basis. And lastly, we have our prepaid uh, Gorbin.net MasterCard. Now, a large portion of our demographic is what's considered unbanked. That means they have bad to no credit. So they can't get online. They can't do some of those things like book hotel, book airfare. We have mitigated that with this card. This is a huge, huge uh, stepping point for us because now it allows all of our consumers to do everything you see up here. And at the end of the day, there's no credit check. So now we're able to bring in uh, a different demographic that can, can use the internet. Our, our site as well as any other site. Here's some other benefits. 20 million uh, places where MasterCard is used. Over 900,000 ATMs. They can use our card not only on our site, but brick and mortar uh, around the country and as well, uh, around the nation, or the world, I'm sorry. Now here's some of our competition. We have a lot of indirect competition. And I brought out some of the big players like Amazon and Yahoo, but I've also brought out some of the target markets like African Sisters. But at the end of the day, we are the only lifestyle brand, us being Go Urban. Uh, here's some of our partners. I work with, with some of the biggest movie studios, some of the major record companies, some of the local venture darlings like Legit. I'm forming a relationship with them, and uh, as I spoke on earlier, Mania TV, they provide some content for us. Uh, we also work with Jackson Hewitt on some strategic promotions where we can incorporate uh, our brand as well as our uh, prepaid debit card. And you see underneath that with Clint Black is a blaze technology where we're able to uh, convey exclusive content via cell phone. Now our financial highlights. We're projected to go from 7.7 .7 in year one to 151 million in year three. Um, net 3.6 million to about 89 million. And I walked you guys through how we're gonna do that. Number of visitors, 109,000 visitors at $50, $50 per transaction, and we only need to do about 600,000 prepaid MasterCards to accomplish our, our projected goals. This just shows you the hockey stick. It's another layout for you guys to look at. How are we gonna, how are we gonna generate these revenues? I bet you guys are wondering. Uh, direct response. We've already got a down payment uh, for a direct response commercial that will run nationally. We'll do regional target market launches, press releases, apparel, entertainment. Uh, I can do all of these things that are embraced by the urban culture, as well as our partnerships. Our marketing strategy, who's going to do this? We have, a, in addition to what I just showed you, we have a PR firm that's located in Washington, D.C., very well connected, and they're uh, formulating some, some strategic alliances for us as well. Now, we're looking to raise 900000 what are we going to use this money for? 61% of this is going directly towards marketing. Uh, the, the, the rest is going towards G&A and continuous web development. Now, we're partnered with a lot of high-tech companies that uh, are successful in the industry. But for our demographic, 
there's a huge disparity between computer usership and computer ownership. So we're at the front of this curve. A lot of the demographic is just now getting online, and we feel that we're positioned to uh, really make this thing happen. And that's why uh, we want you guys to choose Go Urban. Why choose us? We're going to be the premier leader for our niche, our concept. Uh, it's 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 going to be very difficult to replicate it. One thing that makes us very, very powerful is that we have no overhead. We have over about 400,000 products on our website right now, which is all drop shipped. So um, our concept is, is, is uniquely different. In addition to that, huh? 20 seconds, sorry. Okay. In addition to that, our target market is continuing to grow. Now, we have the website, we have the prepaid MasterCard, so we, we give people a reason to use these things, and we're one in two other urban companies that have this tool. Uh, Russell Simmons is the other. And just to give you guys a, a note, he did 300,000 cars in 2004. It generated an uh, uh, excess of about $50 million. And I brought the article for you guys <coughs> to take a look at. So that's my presentation, and uh, I'm, I'm open for questions or comments. Sir. Is the $20 per prepaid master card, is that one time or per year membership? Or it's it's $19.95 per card. Um, just how you have credit with interest, interest with credit. With debit, you have that upfront cost, and then you have a monthly maintenance fee. And what my dad is handing out is a mock up of what our prepaid master card is going to look like, and we're doing a, a million dollar cash jackpot. Did that answer your question, uh, sir? What is the monthly maintenance fee? The monthly maintenance fee is four ninety five. And uh, just so you guys know, we are approved with MasterCard. Our cards are ready to go to print. So this isn't concept. This is a done deal, and it's ready to hit the market. I'm sorry, I think you were next. Sir. It seems neat to have a uh, targeted focus like that on a, on a particular segment. Although the, you're you're looking for a lot of uh, a lot of buys and a lot of sales this year, how much you, how much marketing dollar do you think you have to spend in order to this year in order to get that 150,000 purchases seven well if we're, we're looking at I mean I'm looking at that 900,000 figure but our commercial I'm negotiating strategic deals with a with a very minimal budget for instance we're spending thirty five thousand dollars on the production of our commercial then what I'm going to do is revenue share with the media so it'll it'll uh, kind of change our revenue streams so what we'll do is we'll have a national presence for a fraction of the media costs. Did I answer your question? Okay. Sir? If you have people that don't have credit or bad credit, how are they going to make a payment for your debit card? Is there any money over? There is no payment. It's prepaid. So what they do is they load money onto their card. This includes them into the system. So How do they load it down? Uh, there's a variety of ways. Online, or you can go to major retailers around the country, uh, like Radio Shack, CBS, Walgreens, or Rite Aid, and load your card there as well. And you have partnerships with all those people? Through, through Elux Financial, we're part, a little bit about Elux, we're partnered with, uh, how many guys remember Chips, the show? Yeah. The TV show? Larry Wilcox, um, you had Eric Estrada, Larry Wilcox owns Elux Financial. So we're partnered with them, um, and we work hand in hand with, with them on, on that. Ma'am? Uh, do you know, um, for your demographic, are you planning to reach them at all through mobile? One other, one other tool that we're going to have with our direct response. There'll be two, three ways to acquire our card. You can get it online via, via our website. You can hop uh, on the telephone and call it an 800 number, or we'll have a text messaging function that we formed a partnership. We're forming a partnership with a company called Sell It, uh, where you can text Go Urban to learn more about our card. Okay. And demographically, is there are there more mobiles than PCs with your? Demographic or not? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, there are. Okay. We've got about a minute. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, a couple questions. One was, um, how much research did you do about this demographic? Are you familiar with Net Noir and perhaps why they sold the AOL? I'm familiar with Net Noir, and I know they raised about four million, and I think they were ahead of the curve back yeah. back when that happened. And and with that, a lot of people say, what makes you think you can do it now? Back in, the, back in the early days, those companies were weeded out, and what I've tried to do is build our infrastructure uh, around those companies that have failed and then catapult on the backs of the companies that are successful, like the Amazon, hence why we don't have any infrastructure. So with this revenue stream, if we do 500,000 cards or 3 million cards, none, none of my business model is really increasing uh, our overhead. We're able to run as a, as a lean operating machine.
Last question, all in the back. Sir? Have you also looked at this as an international opportunity? International opportunity on two fronts. One, internet, but two, uh, I have a, I'm in real estate. My real estate partner's from Kenya, and I, I know people from Mexico. So car to car transfer costs somebody $2 to transfer $100 or $10,000. What we're looking to do is saturate that market from our debit card standpoint to cut back on uh, the MoneyGram, the Western Union fees, because now you can send a card overseas and transfer money back and forth like a lot of people are looking to do.